Good morning. Is it still morning? <clears throat> yep, got another hour. Still morning. How are y'all this morning? We are smoking either my first or second Peterson. <clears throat> Rusticated bent billiard. I don't smoke this pipe enough. This is a really good pipe. And I've got it. The only thing, only proper thing you can put in a Peterson from Sherlock Holmes from Peterson. <laughs> and of course, I'm drinking my Bustelo. Uh, just watching um, Michael Knowles' show. And I don't know if you all have Netflix or not. I used to have it. I used to enjoy it. That's how I got to watch um, Daredevil and Punisher. I watched some of my other ones too, but I really like Daredevil. Was really done well. It was done about as realistic as you could do a superhero thing. Um, the guy who played Daredevil. He really vested deeply. And I understand that he um, wasn't in the comic books and never wouldn't didn't know who Daredevil was when he first went for the role. He got the role. He really did his homework and um, trained and, and trained the martial arts and all that stuff. Got and got himself in good shape to do that. Where I would say he's the expert on Daredevil. Another good point, uh, the gal that played Electra. <clears throat> I looked her up. Because very exotic. I mean, they found a very exotic young lady to play Electra. And uh, she seemed to be really good at martial arts and stuff, you know, like Electra should be. So... I looked up the actress. She's half Cambodian, half Cambodian, and half French. She's born in France, and her father, at a young age, uh, enrolled her in karate and several other martial arts. So she literally is a badass, <laughs> and that's and she brought that that to that role and to that program did did a really good job on uh, the guy who played um, Fisk he was in um, Law and Order for years he's, I really enjoyed him he's a really good actor he did and they allowed him to do Kingpin as he should then you get into the Punisher. They did it properly. They did it brutally like the Punisher. The Punisher, by the way, was something that they absconded from an earlier book, an earlier character called uh, I think it's Mac Dolan. I used to read it back in the back in the eighties. Because that's that that was what they based the Punisher off of. He's a he's a Vietnam vet. His family was killed by the mob. He was in special forces on his family was killed by the mob. And uh he gets out, goes after the mob, wipes out the mob, finds out the CIA had something to do with it, um just kills his way on up. Anyway, where I'm getting at. After a while, I started noticing that uh, that the majority of Netflix stuff is very evil. I'm not going to say oh, it's anti-God or is it? It's flat out evil. The majority of it, it a lot, a lot of it was demonic. Um, so after a while, I'm like looking at the majority of what they had. I didn't want to watch. 
They had all this gay stuff. They had all kinds of weird. So I just got rid of it. Well, I'm watching Michael Knowles this morning. And uh, it seems Netflix has got a animated series about Satan. And he played, they played a little bit of it on the, on the show to kind of show it. It makes Satan and, and his, 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 his true love, which is Lilith, um, they're just misunderstood and just completely flips the old biblical story around, upside down. And uh, they got it marked for adults. The same way they marked South Park for adults. Yeah, in other words, kids can watch this. This is some evil shit. This is some very underhand, sneaky um, grooming, basically. So, very put the heads out. Heads up. Here's what's coming on Netflix, if you have Netflix, if you still have Netflix. Uh, now... Obviously, I've got the Daily Wire. They have, uh, they've started Saturday morning cartoons again. All good cartoons, you know, for kids. None of this woke crap, none of this satanic crap. And they're kind of programs, so look into it. But that's a heads up about the Satanism on Netflix. And for anyone who's going to pipe up and say, well, this is a pipe channel. Now, if you read the when I set it up, this is a for pipes, for Christianity, mainly Catholicism and Orthodoxy, and motorcycles. And motorcycles come about because a buddy of mine, Charlie, is like, dude, you're killing me by talking about your infield. You don't show it. Well, when weather gets better, it will. I'll do some videos from up in uh, Lewis County and up in Appalachia. So. But meanwhile, that's the main reason for today's video. I'm going to I'm gonna smoke a second bowl, smoke most of this one, and watch the program. Watch my Michael Knowles show. Uh, they've got a, uh, a cartoon coming up. Uh, I think it's Mr. Not Mr. Bean, Mr. Somebody. Anyways, but the actors they got in are really good. And they've also got uh, Roseanne Barr playing, <laughs> playing one of the characters. I don't know if it's out yet, but I know they got set up. They're showing the, um, they're showing the, uh, the trailers for it. They've also got one for the Arthurian legends uh, that they're doing up that looks really good. And, of course, they're doing um, Snow White. And they're going to do Snow White, not based off the Disney crap. Um, but they're actually going to do Snow White based off of the, the Brothers Grimm uh, actual fairy tale from the old Germanic fairy tales. So that's cool. That's very good. Anyways, I'm going to fill this up with another bowl, drink the rest of my coffee. Y'all have a good morning. Oh, by the way. Quick little joke. Um, in the Bible, in the Old Testament, in Genesis, um, when God created man, this is a man's joke. God told man, he says, I'm going to create for you good women. Absolutely, perfectly good women. And I'm going to put these, I'm going to fill the four corners of the earth with good women. And then he made the world round and he laughed and laughed and laughed. <laughs> Y'all take care. Send hate mail to me. I don't care. All right, have fun. Bye-bye.